What's up quarter pounders? My name's Wave Potter and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm trying something a little different. I'm reacting to another drummer besides Yayoka. I know it's a little weird for all of us, but I gotta expand my horizons. I will definitely be doing more Yayoka videos. I have lots of requests from patrons for more Yayoka videos, and that means they're a top priority for me. So if you'd like your request to be a top priority, you're welcome to join my Patreon just for just $5. Your first request will be at the very top of my list, and then any other requests you make will be priority as well. First come, first serve type of thing. I'm reacting to a very highly requested and proficient drummer. So she was introduced to drumming at age five when her father brought home an electric drum kit so he could explore its inner workings. So he wasn't even a musician, he would just wanted to like take apart an electronic drum set? That is funny. And at age 13, she was one of the youngest and only the second Japanese drummer to be added to the drummer world list of top 500 drummers. And the funny thing about that is now Yayoka is the third Japanese drummer selected and again the youngest. Both Senri and Yayoka are trailblazers so I'm excited to watch and react to that. If you do enjoy my videos please consider subscribing. I really appreciate it. According to my YouTube analytics most of the people who watch my videos aren't subscribed yet. I mean if you're here you must enjoy what I'm doing or at least be slightly interested in what I'm doing so why not subscribe it's free, you can always unsubscribe if you don't enjoy what I'm doing, but it really helps out. It tells YouTube, hey, maybe more people would be interested in this content. That said, let's jump into it. Hey, we have the same snare head. Ooh, that sounds good. Very cool. I loved the use of the trill technique right there, just letting the stick rebound do the work. And even though the stick rebound does the work, you have to be very in control of how that's going for it to actually sound good. That was just flawless. Sweet groove. Okay. That's a complex groove. Oh my gosh. Every single limb is doing something different. She's playing around with time signatures here. So cool. Another roof. There's so much going on in this. I just had to pause it so I could squeeze in some comments before I forget them. That groove where the ride symbol is on the offbeat, that was so cool. Even though it might sound simple, that would be so hard to play. I'm just gonna go back. Oh, yeah. 
Those double strokes with the left hand. One more time. Now. So she's a jazz fusion drummer from what I hear. You can definitely hear the jazz influence because there's so many different things. It's like, it's almost like a stream of consciousness is the way it comes across where she's just playing whatever pops into her head. I'm sure it was very well planned out. It's mind blowing because of how many different types of techniques and styles it features it just went from a cool jazz groove to like a metal beat in like on the turn of a dime it's crazy such good hand speed there to use an ian pace term <laughs> All right. Okay, if you just listen, even though she's doing those stick things, you can't hear any difference. It's such a solid beat. She's almost doing like magic tricks with the drums where when she enters a groove your mind is counting it one way but then the way she starts to play it it like switches to a different feel it's so weird does anyone else get that or am i just is it just me it's mind bending Some double kicks right there. Very even and steady double kicks. Oh, her stick just broke. That happened to me during my live stream a couple days ago. Broke a stick in the middle of a song. My recovery was nowhere near as graceful as that. Let's see that in an instant replay. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Great recovery. Oh my gosh. Now it's like some dream theater stuff. Those drums sounded so good. This is one of those mind blowing things where as you watch it, you can barely wrap your mind around it because there's so much going on. But I think most of her performance speaks for itself and I'm like, why am I even here? Wow. Obviously a virtuoso already. That was 2018. She was 21 at that point from the research that I've conducted because she was born in 97, January of 97, which makes me feel really old because she's six years younger than me. Hmm. Anyway, she was 21 years old at that point. <laughs> Gosh, <laughs> time goes by so fast, doesn't it? But holy crap. Just an insane level of skill. Well, I definitely look forward to watching more from her. Please let me know if you have any recommendations. If you have a video you want me to make really badly, you can always join my Patreon for $5 a month and I'll get on it right away. Again, I want to thank my current patrons. Oh, and I have two new patrons that I haven't thanked by name yet. Funny enough, their names are both Glenn. Glenn Kelly and Glenn Black and they're in the comment section all the time so thank you both for all of your awesome support I really appreciate you my next video will be a patreon request so look forward to that my video about the Frankenstein guitar will be coming soon as well I've been having people ask about that specifically and thank you to everyone who participated in the poll I just posted if you haven't yet go check that out it's the latest post in my community tab just asking what type of videos you're waiting for. I just like to keep my finger on the pulse of the community, make sure that I'm making the kind of videos people wanna see. I think that's about it, don't need these anymore. So again, if you enjoyed this video, please pound that like button. It really helps out with the algorithm. If you're not yet subscribed, please do it. 
And there's really no point in subscribing if you don't hit that buddy bell because a YouTube subscription means nothing anymore unless you do. <laughs> I think that about wraps it up. Thank you all so much for your support and I will talk to you next time. <laughs> Stick.